Hey YouTube, uh, Sam the Chipman here. Um, thank you. I just want to say thank you to all my uh, followers, subscribers for watching and liking my videos. Now, um, I did get a comment in my uh, Mr. Chips video um, saying that the packaging is actually recyclable. And uh, the thing is, um, I'll put the comment somewhere on the screen, wherever it is, uh, my editor will put it there somewhere but um basically um um thank you mr chips for reaching out and i really do appreciate it like i said i will be coming down at one point to try your fish and chips um but the restaurant experience and i'm not going to film that this this time if i do pay a visit but i'd like to experience it though um but uh further ado let's get into the review cue the intro <laughs> Right, so um, let's uh, talk about the packaging. And uh, oh, by the way, thank uh, Dan's Fish Bar. I hope I remember that correctly um, for uh, fish and chips. Right, let's have a look. I love the design of all the fish uh, going across the sea. Taste of the sea, what you expect? Cod and well, chips. The potato you don't find in the sea, but uh, if you did, that'd be very interesting. Now let's look at the food itself. Um, got a good presentation, you've got the fish on top, you've got the uh, chips on, on the bottom. Let's get into the fish itself. Um, I don't know if you can actually see, but, um, but look, at the, look at the fish. It's got a flaky batter here, soft batter here. Uh, let's um, go for uh, a bit on each end. There we go, that helps. Don't want cardboard because uh, that'd be a weird taste. There's a mix of everything there. You've got the crust, which is not much, but you can taste the fish straight away. I think what helps is um, eating it in the box itself rather than taking it all out on the box and putting it on a plate. So let's, let's listen to this crunchy bit. Oh, that is so crunchy. That is way cr crunchy. It doesn't taste greasy, but it's very tasty. So, as I was cutting into that, you could definitely hear how crispy that batter is. You could definitely taste how soft it is as well. And if we remove some of this batter, if we can. Um, it's either the light playing tricks with me, but uh, you can see white fish here with a bit of yellow um, from the batter. And it looks so moist as well. But as for the chips, let's have a look at these chips. Now, they definitely look like chips you get from like a bag in Asda or something. But you can definitely taste they've been cooked through. There's not crunch to it, but there's but the size of the chips are good. The thickness is good. Taste is brilliant. And, uh, and truth be told, I can't stop eating these. Let me see if I can find a crunchy chip. Well, this looks crunchy. Let's see if there is a crunch to it. Mm, not really that one. That's, this one's probably got crunch. Yeah, there was crunch to it, but not as crunchy as... Um, previous uh, times I've been eating. 
All right, guys. Um, please pause the video here and then we will get to the summary. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so again, I just want to thank uh, Dan's Fish Bar for the food. Let's get into the summary. So, I ordered a small card and chips, which came to £8.25. In terms of uh, eating and takeaway, it is a takeaway only. You can order online and you can order in person. Uh, online Just Eat or any other appropriate um, ordering app. And in terms of hours, uh, we are looking at 4.30 till 9pm, which I feel is actually good opening hours considering the fact that even though they don't do lunchtime, evening, it's perfect. All right, let's talk about location and parking. So in terms of location, um, it is opposite, well, it's actually a one minute walk from like the main town of Farnborough. In terms of parking, it is limited um, outside the chip shop, even though it's free parking. Um, so it's first come, first serve. And alternatives would be the multi-storey car park opposite, um, but uh, you will have to pay for it. But uh, other than that, um, if you are gonna be there for like a while, um, you can watch, um, a movie after you've had your fish and chips so basically you've got quite a lot of options so in terms of location and parking even though it's not by seaside i'm going to give location and parking three and a half out of five let's talk about the appearance of the shop itself now it is bright which is very important especially at winter times but obviously we're in the spring so uh Darkness don't come until a bit later on in the evening. In terms of um, cleanliness, uh, it is uh, clean and uh, space. Uh, there is um, a bit of space, but uh, just enough space for like quite um, a few customers, probably about 10 customers average to squeeze into. And uh, in terms of presentation in the shop itself, uh, they've got like a big, big menu on the left um, but uh, we'll get to that in a sec in a second. Um, but uh, other than that, um, it's got um, a good view of uh, where where they cook the fish as well. So no complaints there. Um, in terms of um, modernisation, I don't think there's much they can really do. And um, the sign is modern as well. So um, there's that to take into consideration. So with that said. Forgive me, I've just had some green tea. I... <sighs> so anyway, back to the score. So I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Right, let's talk about uh, the um, customer service side of things. Now, in terms of customer service, um, they uh, did offer they did ask what we wanted and uh, they offered salt and vinegar as well. And um, when I was, um, when I asked for my order, they um, cooked it from scratch. So basically they got the fish, put it in the batter, fried it, and same with the chips as well. So basically it was uh, cooked to order. It didn't take long at all. So there was quite efficiency. And, uh, And in terms of um, um, like napkins, they didn't have any napkins and they didn't offer cutlery, um, but they had a smell of this with a smile. So um, I'm gonna say, uh, at least for customer service, a uh, four out of five. Right, let's talk about the menu. So in terms of the menu, there was a big massive menu, all like on one side of the wall, it has a lot of options. And in the bottom right corner, they've got a kids menu, which came to about five quid for each thing. So like cod bites and that was five quid, small cottage, etc. basically for the kids menu. In terms of gluten-free, um, there's nothing 
really gluten free and if there is uh, please uh, let me know if you uh, do work for Dan's fish bar because uh, it would definitely help me out in the future and uh, I can readjust the score if I do a revisit um, but uh, in all fairness uh, there is a lot of variety uh, vegetarian options uh, I believe they did have veggie burgers um, my memory isn't that great I should have took a photo that's on me so um, apologies so um, Bear in mind it's got a lot of options. Uh, I'm gonna just give it a four and a half out of five. Right, let's talk about the deals, discounts, and um, loyalty schemes. Now, they did not have any loyalty schemes, and uh, in terms of like uh, like special days for OAPs, they didn't have any, but um, I'm gonna say because of the kids menu being for like five pounds for every item, um, I would say um, I'm going to go along the lines of that. So in terms of uh, loyalty schemes, I'm not going to give it a zero this time. I'm going to give it, um, I'm probably going to give it at least a one out of five. Because at least they've got a bit of a discount when it comes to the kids menu. Um, but uh, if we weren't taking that into account, I would definitely give it a zero. So one out of five. Let's talk about the price. Now, the price for a small collar chips came to £8.25. So in terms of um, like the size portion of like the food, the packaging, uh, the carrier bag, etc., cetera, um, I would say that um, it's a bit expensive um, for a small collar chips because it was small. So uh, if it was a medium like size, portion chips for that cost I would say um, that's understandable because for a medium it would be between eight to nine pounds a small would probably be between seven pound fifty and eight pound fifty so it's kind of like near high end in terms of small portion of chips but then again uh, the making of this video the cost of living crisis going up so I'm taking that in consideration as well so I would say in terms of price, um, it is good value uh, for the size, um, but, uh, but it's a bit more expensive than a usual small card and chips. So I'm gonna give that, uh, I'm not gonna be too harsh, I'm gonna say at least uh, two and a half out of five. Right, now it's time to talk about the packaging. Now, as you saw earlier, um, in the video, uh, it had a very, very lovely design, like with all the fishes on it, and also it is recyclable. I did ask them about this, um, so you can put it in the recycle bin. And in terms of like um, keeping my food warm, it kept my food warm, and um, it was it was really really good actually. The packaging, so recyclable, kept my food warm easy to carry and just like not too much moisture coming from the box so I'm gonna give it a very decent four and a half out of five let's talk about the fish so in terms of the fish uh, it was lovely and crispy on one side and it was and it was soft on the other and uh, as you saw from that video it was easy to cut through the moisture of the fish was brilliant it tasted great uh, nice and fluffy in the middle uh, batter was not too um, difficult to get into and uh, as you saw earlier in the video or heard in the video the crunch of the batter on the other side was absolutely perfect so so in terms of size uh, I would say that is more like a medium size um, like um, fish but uh, Mind you, it's about five to seven ounces, uh, which I learned off the menu, by the way, it, um, which I, I forgot to add um, earlier, but uh, now you know. So the fish, I'm actually gonna give um, a very solid um, four and a half out of five. Well, you can't have fish and chips without, of course, chips. We've talked about the fish, let's talk about the chips. Chips, like, as a portion, um, it was definitely the right size portion. In terms of crunchiness, there wasn't really that much crunchiness, um, but uh, a good size uh, chips, uh, good thickness as well. 
Uh, in terms of crunchy, again, there wasn't too much crunch, but that's not a problem. It, they tasted brilliant. Um, it would nice. It would be nice to have a bit of crunch, but uh, other than that, really, really good chips. Um, I'm going to give them a very decent three and a half out of five. Right, let's talk about the meal as a whole. So, fish, good quality fish it was cooked from fresh, um, basically like I cooked as soon as I ordered it. And same with the chips. And honestly, uh, freshly cooked chips tasted brilliant, and the fish, crunchy batter on the fish. Um, right size and good size portion of chips as well. So I'm gonna balance it out and I'm gonna give it a very nice four out of five. So don't go anywhere because we are going to total up the score and let's see how Dan's fish bar held up. All right, so Dan's fish bar. Once again, thank you so much for the meal. Um, after the totaling up, I am going to give you a 36 out of 50. Now, it's not it's not going to be in, uh, like, you know, between the 40 and 50 mark. But you know what? Considering it was a lovely meal um, and the packaging, the menu, the shop. Honestly, guys, I'm very proud of you. Um, will I be revisiting? Well, obviously, yeah, absolutely. But I've still got lots of fish and chip shops to discover. Ones I haven't been to like at all in other parts of the UK. Which reminds me actually, um, I am probably gonna take a little break from uh, the fish and chip videos um, for a while because um, getting time off work and plus uh, I've got some stuff outside of YouTube um, to deal with. But um, I'm not gonna stop making these videos. Um, I will make a video where I can. I appreciate all the support you guys have given me, you, you subscribers, and if you haven't, hit that subscribe button and hit a like button for all my videos. It really does mean a lot to me. Well, I have been Sam the Chip Man. You guys have been good. Don't forget to reel in and remember to feast out.